Okay, so today is reviewing for the big matrix test. So we've got to be able to, let's just talk through these quick. You got to be able to add them. You got to be able to scale or multiply them, which just means like put a number in front of them like this. That's really easy. You just times everything by that number. You got to solve simple matrix equations. That's where you have like a matrix plus 2x is equal to another matrix. We'll talk through those. You got to multiply matrices with a calculator and without a calculator. You got to find the inverse of a matrix with a calculator and without a calculator. You'll notice most of the problems that I show you next have variables in them, which means you can't use the calculator. You might think, well, I'm just going to use the calculator. You can't when they throw an X in the middle of the matrix. You got to know how to do it by hand. And then there are some that you can just use the calculator on because they just have all numbers. All right, so here is the first one, the yellow one. Do you remember how you're supposed to even tell whether they will multiply? Is this first one a two by one or a one by two? Two by one. And this one is a one by two. If these match up, then it works and your answer is a two by two. Isn't that kind of counterintuitive? You've got a small number and a small number of things and it makes a big number of answers. There's four spots here, 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 and here. Now I'll remind you how to do this. This two by two matrix that we have found has got a little address for each of these spots. You just got to think about where it is. That spot is address row one, column one. That spot right there is row two, column two. And if you know that, you know what to multiply. Now this first one gets a little strange because row one is like across here and there's only one guy in the row or girl. I don't know, our numbers girls or guys. Never thought of that before. And then this is the column. So that's a row one times column one. So what am I going to put there? Negative 3x. Would you please finish this one and figure out the other three spots that are left? And if you're done early, then try this one, and I'll remind you, this one's not a multiply problem except for the scalar multiply. So your answer's just a, four, a two by two, you know, a four-part matrix. And you get them by first doing your little scalar multiply and then adding each appropriate item. Try both of those. Once you're done with the first one, check and see if the other kid's done with the first one. Compare your answers for the first one, and then compare your answers for the second one when you're done with them. This one here was negative 3x. The next one, I'll call on different people to give me different cells here. That one there, Miss SP, what did you have? Negative 15, I would agree with you. How about this cell in the lower left, Mr. Orange Man? Negative xy. You are correct, sir. And then the lower right-hand corner is av. Uh, you are correct. Who had them all right? Okay, good. The next one was a little different. All right. Uh, what did you think this first one right here was? And I'll warn you, there's an a in your answer. Yes, sir. 2a plus 3 is correct. The next one should have been 8. Minus 7, which is 1. We had one for that one. Okay, good. All right, next one. A-H in the back corner. What would you have for this one? Yep. One. And you were right. Good job. And then the last one in the little corner here, Mr. T. Mr. B. Mr. T-B. Okay. Mr. T. What would you get? 4B is correct. Who had those right? Good. We've got the easy part down then. Let's move on to the harder kind. Notice no uh, chance of using a calculator here because why? Because there's a variable in it. So you got to know how to do this. So you're going to have to first think, okay, it's a three by three and a what by what, and then you'll be able to figure out what kind of answer you should have. And I'll let you figure that out and answer these. Actually, just the top one, because if you can do the top one, the bottom one's easier than the top one. So you can do that top one. We're good. I'll pause for a second while you give that a try. Okay, the suspense was just killing me, so I decided I would show you that this is a 3 by one Those match, and you should be doing a 3 by one What does a 3 by one look like? Well, it happens to look exactly like that. See, that's a 3 by one So you make one of these. One, two, three answers in those three spots. What did 
you think the three answers were. Do you have them? Is it working? All right, I'll give you a chance to work. Do you have one of them? All right, it's a very common one to have wrong, uh, so I'm not, I'm not uh, too worried about you. But there's something wrong in that first one. What did you do for your row? Because I'm afraid you might have used the wrong row, but I'm not sure. What row did you use? The x and the 3 and the 2, or the 0 and the negative 1 and the x? Or You figured it out? All right, here's row 1 and here's column 1. So a lot of people got this one wrong, but if you use the right rows and columns, x and x go together, 3 and 0 go together, but they're multiplied, so it's not 3, zero. it's 0. And the 2 and the 4 make an 8, so then what do I have when I'm all done? x squared plus 8. All right. Okay. The next row, Miss E.M., what did you have for this one? Did you use... How about this? Talk me through it. What is the address for this spot? Row what, column what? Column one. Good. What is row two? Awesome. And there's only one column to pick from from here, so that's got to be that. So now, talk me through it. You got it. It's 4x. 4x is correct. And then the last one, Miss IS, is what did you have for this last spot? XY is in it. Keep going. Everything else is a zero. Very good. XY plus zero plus zero, which is XY. Okay, good. The bottom one is easier than the top one, so we don't need to do that. Find the inverse. What if I made you do it by hand? That would be considered cruel and unusual punishment. Uh, so you, well, you probably could do it, but there is not a process I have taught you that you could use to solve this. But if you could use a calculator, which you can, grab your calculator, please, type that puppy in, and then do to the power of what? Negative one. That's what inverse means, power of negative one. And then I'd encourage you to change it to fractions. They're way easier to write down than these long decimals, which you're not allowed to round. So <coughs> hit the math button, and you'll find the change to fractions thing when you're done. I'll pause while you try that one. OK. Could you tell me what you got in your calculator? Did you check it with anybody yet or not? Yes, I did. All right, excellent. What'd you get? Okay, negative 5 over 26? Yeah. All right. To the right of that, I got negative 5 over 4. And then right in the first column, I got negative 3 over 52. And then to the right of that, I got 2 over 13, 1 over 52, 6 over 13, negative 3 over 13, negative 2 over 13. All right. That is completely wrong. Because it doesn't have a bracket around it. <laughs> all right, good. So all I have to do is type that puppy in, and I'll tell you, it's really easy. Do you get how all it would take is to forget a negative sign or make an 8 into a 6 by accident? And the whole thing's going to be wrong. So double check your matrix. Like, seriously, be extra careful and go, okay, did I really type in all nine numbers right? Because that's probably where you're making a mistake, if anything. It's just a, something stupid, and it costs you just as much points as not knowing how to do it. Okay? So be careful. All right, moving on to this one. I'll give you a hint. A lot of people try to get that off of there with an inverse matrix. This is not a multiply by a matrix. This is a matrix here that is being attached with an add or subtract. And therefore, to get rid of it so we can get this C right here alone, get the clump alone, we have to get rid of this, but we don't use inverse to get rid of it. We don't divide by it either. We subtract it. It's just as if it was 5 minus 3c equals 12. 
how would I get rid of the 5? I wouldn't divide by it. I wouldn't use an inverse of it. I would just get rid of the 5 by subtracting 5 from both sides. See? So, same idea. I just subtract the matrix from both sides. I'm not going to make you write it all out on the left side because it's just going to cancel anyway, right? So, you'd subtract it like this. Does the order matter in these things? Oh, yes, it does. So you got to be careful that you do it in the right order. So, there. I have done the first part. Would you finish it from there? Remember, the goal was to get the C here alone. So you'll have negative 3C equals all that. And then you'll get the C alone. I'll pause. We'll give that a shot. Again. All right. So you should have gotten uh, negative 9 and then negative 4 and then 3 and then negative 1. And then you should have noticed that you, to get rid of this, you multiply by negative 1 third. I bet a few forgot it was negative. And it is, and then this cancels this. That multiplied by everything gives me positive 3, positive 4 thirds, positive 1, and positive 1 third. Raise your hand if you would have had that one right. All right. Now, could you have done, uh-oh, I apparently made a mistake on one of them. Which one? The 1 should be negative 1. I'll double check. Negative times a positive, you're right, makes it negative. Okay, now could you have used a calculator for parts of that? Yes, calculators can add matrices. It's just probably slower than just doing it by hand. But calculators can add matrices. And, and can you multiply a matrix by a number? Let's say I have matrix A in there. How would you multiply by it, matrix A in there by one-third, for instance? You just go one-third times A, and it'll do it for you. So you can do that with a calculator if you want. But I think it's probably just as easy to just do it by hand. Yes? Good question. So on this, as far as work you'd need to show, you'd need to show that you subtracted it. Okay? And that would be like show this part. Then actually, from there, I didn't make you show how it turned into the blue matrix, right? Then show your next step, which is what do you, what's my next step? Multiply by this. And again, you don't need to show. I didn't even show any work. I just wrote down the answer. So I don't need a lot of work, but I need a little bit of work. Like, what did you do? I multiplied by this. I subtracted that. Okay, let's move on. This is an important one. Can you make a matrix thing for this set of equations? You can. Please write me. There's four numbers here, two here, and two there. Write me the equation, because again, you asked, how do I show work? That's an example. One of the points is, can you write the equation for it? The other point is, use your calculator and get the answer. So I'll pause for a second while you see if you can write the right numbers in the right places. There are some letters in there, too. All right, let's see if you got the right numbers. Four, one, one, negative one. Where did I get all those ones from? Because there's a one here, there's a one here, and there's one there. Raise your hand if you had those right. Good. Next part is the variables, x, y. Next part is the answer matrix, which is that, 2, 3. Then do you know how to do it? You put that in for A matrix, this in for B matrix. Then this is how they always, the story always ends this way. You've got to get this off of here, so you multiply by inverse of A on the left side, A the negative one, and inverse of A on the right side. Then this will cancel this. No work needed. Final answer, x, y is whatever inverse of a times b was. I'm assuming you used a calculator to get that. How many of you are already done? I don't want to waste your time. Okay, good. Let's get it. What did you have, em? One negative two. Okay, good. Raise your hand if you had the same thing. Okay, good. And that means a was, or no, x was one and y was negative two. Okay, if you had trouble entering that, all you'd have to do is add, walk up and say, I got that one wrong. Could you show me how to do it? I would show you that during work time. All right, so that's the that's a, a overview of this, but I want to warn you, the test does involve harder ones where you have to write the equations for it. So let's just review that for a little bit. Like, let's say they said, I've got... Uh, 
here, try to write me the little equations for this. I go to the store and I'm going to buy Mountain Dew and I'm going to buy Pepsi. Okay, so let's call it uh, D for Dew and P for Pepsi. Okay, and I just walk up to the uh, uh, counter and, and they're different size bottles so they're different prices like Pepsi is like cans and the Dew is actually in bottles and so there's different prices for different things. The Dew is a different price than the Pepsi is for example. So I buy three Dews and two Pepsis and it costs me eight bucks. That's an equation. You get the door. Three Dews. Can you shut the door for me please? He'll get it. Yes, we're good. Three, what did I say again? How many dues? Three dues, two Pepsis. Eight bucks. All right. Three dues plus two Pepsis equals eight bucks. Raise your hand if you had that one right. Okay, good. Next. And what we're trying to do is figure out uh, how much they cost, like what the bottles are costing. That's why this is uh, three of the cost plus two of that cost would give me eight dollars total. Okay. So now let's say that the Pepsi costs twice as much as the do. Can you write that equation? Pepsi costs twice as much as do. These people always want to do it backwards. So tell me what the backwards way would be as first. Twice the Pepsi, Pepsi costs twice as much as do. There we go. And if Pepsi did cost twice as much as do, would two of the more expensive ones be equal to the smaller one? Of course not. So that's why you have to reverse it. And it actually goes with the two over there. All right. Raise your hand if you had that one right. Okay, good. Now, why couldn't you put that into a system of matrix equations? They're not arranged right. How do you fix it? You know how to fix it? Okay, good. So let's put it, you know, this one's lined up with the D and then the P and then the number. So can you make this one that way? Option A, you can move the 2D to this side. That's what I would do. And then you'd have negative 2d plus a p is equal to 0. Do you get what I just did to that? I subtracted 2d from both sides, basically. Okay, now if you use this equation and that equation, you could write your system of, uh, we call those things, matrix, your matrix system. And then you'd have an A matrix and a B matrix, and you can do that inverse thing. All right, so let me show you that part. You'd have 3 from here, 2 from here, negative 2 from here, and that's a 1, P, so it's 1 for that. Then this is do and Pepsi. How come I knew it was do first? Because it was the first thing in the, these equations was the do's. Okay, is equal to, the last two numbers are 8 and 0, and then you'd have to just put that in the calculator and you can go from there. So do you get how writing the equations will be a little bit harder part? All right, what did you get for a final answer? Can you change it to fractions and make them fractions for me? Yeah. Oh, it's, if it is a price of a do, okay, fine. Round them to the nearest penny then. All right, so maybe you're getting bottles of Pepsi. 229? Oh, whatever. It's just a rounding thing. Don't worry about it too much. Maybe then the, the dues were uh, cheaper because they were cans and the bottles were Pep Pepsi were bottles or something. Normally, Pep Pepsi and, and Dew uh, are in the same family of drink, and therefore they priced about the same. But Coke will sometimes run a sale. Pepsi won't have. So Coke all of a sudden becomes cheaper. And then sometimes Pepsi runs a sale that Coke doesn't have, and they become cheaper. It is interesting when, back when, um, uh, one of the 
the soda companies was uh, had one of their presidents was uh, let me think don't know his name but he was a president of Pepsi and uh, he was yeah the story doesn't need to be on the video so I'll stop that's all I have for the video for today